Hello guys and welcome back to our daily Marvel Future Fight series. I'm Dr. Mischief and in today's episode, we will be doing another character review. This character, just like Captain America in our previous episode, is one of the earliest characters for new players. And just like Captain America as well, she's a bit on the flimsy side of the weighing scale. So like, she's got potential but it's still quite questionable and debatable in some areas. Our character for today is none other than Black Widow. So just like last time guys, I'll be tackling 5 things in this episode to teach you how to invest or develop in your Black Widow. So we've got uniforms, skills, gear, ISO 8 and Uru, and character team up. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, just like my Captain America, um, my Black Widow isn't that fully invested. So she's at level 60 at the very least, but she does not have full mastery, like full 6 star mastery. And her gear is pretty miserable as well. But from what you can see already, her physical attack's pretty manageable. 5,000's not that bad. And I guess when you tier 2 her, it'll get a bit higher, which is not that bad. And she's got a bit of HP, but I don't think she is that... Uh, she doesn't have that much sustainability at the moment. So let's check her skills out first. Also, I'd like to mention that I do not have her uniforms yet, but do not fret. We will be able to see her uniforms in the uniform section, along with the skill preview. So... Let's check out Black Widow's skills. Now, for Black Widow's skills, her lineup's pretty interesting. It's a bit more interesting than Captain America because, for one, she's got two lightning skills, which is really helpful because we can buff them up. And second, her uniforms actually do a bit more help to her skills. So, let's actually go through her skills one by one. So, her first skill is already a lightning skill. So... It does additional shock damage as well along with the basic damage of the attack. Her second skill, not that interesting. Third skill, increase dodge which is not bad. Her passive which increases physical attack but doesn't that help that much. Sistema, her fourth skill, also nothing interesting. And her fifth skill is an amazing AoE that does lightning damage and just like her first skill, it also does shock damage as well. So. Her leadership is basically all speeds but when it's tagging so especially it, it doesn't really help that much especially how tagging doesn't really take into effect immediately like for example you tag into someone you have to wait for another like amount of time before you can tag into the same character you swapped out in so if you want to do this I don't think it'll really help it doesn't really help as well because if you're tagging out you won't really get a character out there to actually do damage so Let's check her tier 2 passive, which is tactical advantage. So basically, she gives herself guaranteed dodge by uh, 35% and lightning damage by 25%, which is really interesting because given her two powerful um, skills, which is the fifth skill and the first skill, an additional 25% damage isn't too bad. It actually kind of buffs her up by a lot. And guaranteed dodge is really interesting because given her low sustainability, she can actually survive a bit more. So she can she has that increased survivability given her guaranteed dodge now let's actually check her uniform so um she also has quite a lot of uniforms but i'll only be focusing on the secret wars uniform and the civil war uniform now again this is debatable but clearly um the civil war uniform wins this one because even if the secret wars uniform has more range on the first skill which is also a lightning damage skill I think Civil War overall is better because let's actually view it right now because her um, third skill which is a while ago's Infiltrator I think so instead of getting just dodge rate with this uniform you actually get dodge rate by 8 seconds and you get it's basically an additional attack to her which is not that bad so if you don't really want the additional attack and you want the extra like range for the first skill then I suggest you go with um, Secret Wars 2099 uniform, but I suggest you go with the Pistol Strafe one, which is Civil War. Also, just a quick mention, all uniforms are on sale right now, so if you want to grab some uniforms, now might be the best time. Alright, so given that, let's actually check her skill rotation. Why did I exit? Alright, let's check her skill rotation with the Civil War uniform. So basically, what Black Widow really is good for is not really timeline battle or like uh, actually she could do pretty well in world boss 
as a striker but not really as a like character or something but what i suggest is use her in alliance battle why because let's go have a brief rundown of her skills first with the ai off so first skill it's a pretty ranged attack there we go and you get that paralyze effect because of her uniform i think i think it's her uniform nope I, i'm not sure but you get that paralyze effect so let's do that again boom so you get you get the electricity damage and the uh paralyze there now second skill also another ranged attack really useful if you want to get out of a bad situation third skill instead of just a buff it's a buff and an attack over there another ranged skill her fourth skill that's when she gets close up and that all right then her fifth skill is what's interesting so let's actually turn ai on right now and let's use the fifth skill. boom all of them get that damage over time so that's really fun to use in alliance battle especially with the mobs battle so what i suggest um i'm going to be giving her skill rotation for alliance battle for world boss i think if you want to use her as a character it should um, roughly be the same thing so basically what you want to do is gather up all the opponents of alliance battle fifth skill boom then just run around until your fifth skill comes back and you use it again boom that's for maximum damage and so that you won't get hit as much given your guaranteed dodge running around should be pretty useful all right so let's do it again fifth skill boom now if you want to do a bit more damage i suggest you use fifth skill the fourth skill and the first skill and then just keep running or actually what you can do is fifth skill first skill stun them and then you use your fourth skill fourth skill or third skill anyway basically what the first skill will do is just a stun so you can get up an additional attack close range so given that stun you might want to use your fourth skill or your third skill because your third skill gives you a buff so let's actually try the third skill so fifth skill first skill third skill boom so you get that paralyzed and while they're paralyzed you get a buff so it's a pretty simple technique all you have to do is just do fifth skill Spam the skill, run around, and do it again once you already have it. Alright, now, once again, if you want to really survive Alliance Battle, just use this skill. Alright, now that that's clear, let's go on to ISO 8 sets and other fun stuff. Now, for her, where is Black Widow? Alright, there. For her gear, it's pretty basic. So for, for first, you want to either run physical attack or all attack, which is really easy to explain because she's a physical attacker. So if you, for all characters actually, if you want to see what applies to them, you might want to go to their profile and see which attack is labeled there. So that's what they most likely use or what is most likely to be used. And if you check here, it's all physical. Even your, her lightning is actually a physical attack. So basically for your first gear, you want physical attack or all attack. Um, for this, you want all defense for your second gear, all defense, just to get that extra bang for your buck. For your third skill, uh, for third gear rather, suction gloves, you might want to run dodge. Now, why dodge? Actually, I'm not sure. It's kind of debatable at this point if you want dodge or HP, but I suggest dodge just to build up on your guaranteed dodge. Alright? But you can always go with HP if you want, but I suggest dodge here because... It's easier to like avoid hits rather than take the hits in my opinion but it's up to you guys but I suggest dodge with the third gear and for the fourth gear let's actually check what we have so we have the fun stuff which is critical range and critical damage but I suggest for this one instead of ignore defense you might want to run a skill cooldown why so if you run skill cooldown your fifth skill which is what you'll be spamming it'll be available sooner and you can just keep dishing out more damage quicker and you're less likely to get hit so i suggest skill cooldown here but if you want to ignore defense that's fine but i highly suggest once again skill cooldown now for urus um i don't know if there's any skill cooldown U urus but maybe you can get that if they have any school skill cooldown urus and i guess what you want also is some dodge urus 
I hope there are dodge urus or else I look like an idiot suggesting so that but if there are none as well you might want to get some all attack urus or physical attack urus and maybe some HP urus to give you that extra sustainability now for gear this fifth gear what I suggest is you get like not really recovery rate but you can go with that but you want a lightning obelisk I'm not sure if I have a lightning obelisk in here is this a lightning obelisk yes there so basically you want something like this but you want lightning for your main thing so the main thing is the orange one so you want a lightning for that maybe around 40 percent should be good because um what that does is it buffs up your fifth skill and first skill and that's major damage right there along with your tier 2 passive but if you're tier 1 this is what you're going to be banking on your lightning gear to give you that supposed plus 25 that that you would get from your tier 2 but you don't Right, hopefully that's understandable or easy to understand. Why are we not running a dodge obelisk? Well, we're, that's why we're running dodge on your other gears. So that you can reserve this obelisk for something more important which is lightning. Also, you can work your dodge up on like um, comic cards or something. Yeah, you can get there. And also your ISO 8s will probably give you dodge anyway. Alright, now speaking of ISO 8, her... ISO 8 set's pretty easy to, like, pick from. Let's actually check all set bonuses. So what you want is the 8 ISO 8 set called I Am Also Groot. Let's actually check, look for it right now. There, I Am Also Groot. So what I Am Also Groot basically does, it gives you all attack, which is neat. Get max HP for that uh, sustainability. You get critical rate, just some extra, like, bang for your buck. Crowd control time, also extra, and works extremely well with her AoE skill. And recovery rate, which is also nice. But the main thing here is activation rate, uh, 50% when hit. It recovers 32% of your max HP. So this is why I was suggesting either you get HP or like dodge or something. I wasn't sure if that was HP or dodge. But if you want to go for HP, this is where it helps when you get to recover more of that back. But I guess you can also run dodge for your gear but maybe if you want to run HP for your uh, gear you can just run dodge and like comic cards or something so if you really want to focus on that regeneration factor then go for it since you already have if you're tier 2 you already have like 35% guaranteed dodge so yeah you want I am also good for that sustainability now the more iffy part is team up so let's actually check out the bonus over here and not like last time, looking like an idiot. Wait, where did we go? No, how do, how do you do this? I'm sorry guys, I forgot. Oh, it's team bonus, I'm sorry. Anyway, so let's go ahead and select Black Widow. So, Black Widow has a lot of interesting um, team-up combinations. So, let's actually pick the better ones. Master Spy seems interesting because you get Sharon Rogers and Mockingbird. Mockingbird is also easy to farm. So what, what Master Spice does is bonus attack speed, lower cooldown duration, which what we really need for you, like your fifth skill or your skill rotation. And yeah, it's interesting. Secret War, Secret Avengers. Party like 2099 seems promising since you also get that Captain America. So if you want to build up on Captain America, which is really easy as well, you can check my previous video. It gives all defense, critical rate, and once again, that delicious cooldown duration. Now what I want to highlight is Shield Divas. It has Mockingbird and Agent 13. So it does all attack plus 5.4% all defense and movement speed which is really amazing. Now let's actually see if um, Shield Divas has individual team ups. So Institutional Alliance is also interesting. You get that cooldown duration. So here. So if you team up Black Widow with um, Captain America for party like 2099 you get additional movement speed and crowd control time Let's look for the others And yeah shield divas does not have any other power up. So it's either you want to pair her with uh, Captain America and Iron Man for the team ups or you want the shield divas which is Bobby Morse or Mockingbird and Agent 13 now if you're not particular about like the team bonus over here, the one with like team pin, whatever, whatever. An interesting setup would be if you were to pick where is that? Actually, let's just show it off here. 
it would be more interesting if you pick Thor because I think given his leadership. Oh wait, no, it's lightning resist. Never mind. That forty-two percent. Um, I thought he gave a boost to lightning damage. Anyway, so basically you want to pair her with someone that boosts lightning damage. I'm not sure which character that is, but I think this a character that boosts lightning damage. So you basically want that if you want more lightning damage to go with your um skills and. If you're not really particular about that, maybe you can go with like characters that boost your HP. That way you can take in more hits and you'll restore more from I am also Groot. Basically in general, um, what I have to say about Black Widow is that she's an amazing character if you know how to develop her. She works extremely well on speed days for uh, alliance battle, especially with the mobs and the frost beasts. Amazing. Or maybe even just the meteors. She also does well since she can dodge a lot of damn meteors. And overall, she just needs that survivability in her. So she doesn't have native survivability, so you really have to focus on her gear. Uh, so you want to focus on that HP or dodge. And also for your ISO 8 set, you must get I Am Also Groot. But if you can't get I Am Also Groot, maybe Stark Packing will work. But I prefer I Am Also Groot because she gets that recovery. And I prefer that recovery over the defense that you get. Now, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If you have any other su suggestions down below, um, if you think that I'm completely absurd and, you know, Black Widow is obsolete at this point in time, at the current method, then feel free to comment down below. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Peace.